everybody, this is the Victor and this is my hotel here in Podgorica and Jesus Christ it's raining this early morning and this weather doesn't really make you think of Christmas, does it? But that's the movie we're gonna take a look at today. In the beginning of the 2000s a movie was released called The Grinch based on the books by Dr. Seuss and it was hailed as a sort of modern new Christmas classic and Personally, I wasn't really looking forward to this one. I don't really like uh, Christmas movies that much and after seeing a clip on you know CNN or E! Entertainment or something like that when they showed you know the sequence where uh, Cindy meets um, the Grinch for the first time and Jim Carrey just hams it up to 11 or maybe even 12. I was like, nah, I'm probably skipping this one for now. I eventually saw the movie and I thought it was not very good. I actually thought it was quite horrible. I will also say this, I have never seen the original, you know, 1970s or 60s or whatever it is, a short animated movie. I have not read the book uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas and uh, I haven't seen any other iterations of it. So I don't know how true this is to the source material. I kind of know the memes of, you know, the, the Grinch heart grew three times and all that things. And so I kind of no, you know, bits and pieces of the story. But I don't know how fair of a representation this is to the source material, but that was almost beside the point. At the time when I saw this movie the first time, I said to myself that this is one of the worst things I've ever seen. And that was true until something happened that was even worse a couple of years later. Let's find out what that was, shall we? Let's find out why this movie isn't very good, shall we? This is The Grinch. The Grinch doesn't really take place, you know, in our world, but rather in the small world of Whoville, a small town where, you know, people really love Christmas and getting into the Christmas spirits and decorations and presents and Christmas trees and all that things. And everybody is just so happy about Christmas, except one person, a grumpy green mysterious creature that lives up in the mountains, which people tries to, you know, avoid at possible. The Grinch, played by Jim Carrey. He hates Christmas and, you know, people shuns him and stuff like that. But Cindy uh, says that, you know, the Grinch isn't as bad and he should, you know, be the one to light the Christmas tree. And w if we treat him good, he will, you know, be good to us. And, you know, we can bring him down into, you know, our community and things like that. We'll see how that one plays out. I think you can probably figure out what's going to happen, you know, considering the title of the book How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It's not how the Grinch was accepted into the community immediately, but that's a story for another time. From there on we have a bunch of jokes that I think worked rather poorly, where Jim Carrey, as I said, hams it up so much that I think he's gonna give himself a hernia or something like that. I will say this, that the makeup and the costume is very, very impressive, and Jim Carrey really makes him feel like the Grinch, and, you know, he really works with it. It's very impressive, but after it has been very impressive for a few minutes, you start thinking, isn't he going to do anything funny? For me, the late 90s was all about Jim Carrey, and I loved Jim Carrey so much. It was the first movie Jim Carrey did that I skipped in the theaters, mainly because it looked like it was going to be quite horrible. And most jokes he does is just yelling and doing, you know, overacting. It's a bit like Ace Ventura when nature calls, except even worse. The movie drags on, 104 minutes have rarely felt this long. The jokes are lame. The attempts of making, you know, a little more risky humor with, you know, some lowbrow toilet humor just makes this movie feel even more dated. And some of the weird pop culture references they do is just lame. They try to give the Grinch some kind of a, you know, backstory to explain, you know, things, but that just stretch this thing out even further because you kind of know what's going to happen and it just takes a very long time before you get to the point you know that you're going to get to. Jim Carrey is pretty entertaining in small little doses. There are a few, you know, sequences where the comedy shines through. For example, one of the rare funny jokes that this movie does is the part where Jim Carrey is invading Whoville and 
there's a cab that doesn't stop for him and he says, it's because I'm green, isn't it? I think that was actually kind of funny. Otherwise, this is a very boring, predictable, family-friendly comedy about Christmas, not my bag. I don't know what it is. If it is the, you know, angles, or if it is the cinematography, or if it is the production designs or whatever, uh, but I think this movie looks bad, visually speaking. It is a lot of weird, you know, stilted angles, wide lenses and stuff like that, and visually it doesn't look good. It looks ugly and disgusting, but not in the same fun, weird way as, let's say, Labyrinth or something like that, but it just looks kind of cheap and kind of bad. It has really aged horrendously from, you know, the early 2000s in its visual storytelling and its special effects, except, of course, for uh, the Grinch uh, costume, which actually, you know, still holds up because it is an actual costume. And I just hated this movie. I hated, hated, hated it when I saw it. But then, a few years later, I saw a movie that was kind of done in the same way, but even worse. That movie was called The Cat in the Hat, which is one of the single worst movies I have ever seen in my entire life. It was so bad that by comparison, The Grinch, a movie I really disliked, I really hated, actually was elevated slightly as it wasn't as bad as this. So I will say this, about 90% of everybody in the world probably thinks that this movie is better than what I think it is. But I might be wrong and I'm proud to be wrong every once in a while, but for me this was absolutely not my thing. This was a boring, pretentious and weird comedy that didn't work, with too much overacting, with unlikable characters and straight up odd choices. And not even a narration by Anthony Hopkins can save this one. I would skip this one, but most people have already seen it and, you know, can't skip it. <clears throat> but if you have the opportunity to not see this movie, I would advise you to do so. And if you have the opportunity not to see The Cat in the Hat, even more do so, because Jesus Christ, that movie, and Jesus Christ, I am going to melt soon. I thought this movie was so bad the first time I saw it. I gave it originally, I think, eight or nine points. But then when I had to think about it for a second, after having seen The Cat in the Hat, I thought to myself, it is not that bad, but it's still a very bad movie. I give The Grinch finally 13 points. It is a bad, ugly looking comedy that every once in a while gets a small thing right, but everything else kind of sucks. Jesus Christ, I'm soaking. I'll see you next time from Well So Instead of Viewing Well, such and such. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Jesus Christ.